Hello and welcome back to the Son of the Toa. Now, I know this is not where we left off last time, but I received a tip uh, on how to complete the quest with the Gamma Tauren and the disc, which is in the shop next to this house. But anyway, what we're here to do... I see you, I see you have a rock there. For 50 widgets, I can make something, yeah. Um, something for ya. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna make... What do you want made? So we can make the disc out of the stone and that's how we're gonna complete that mini quest. Alright then, hold on a second. We need a disc. Right sir, just give me a moment. Done. Here you go sir. Good lad. Here it is. And we get a disc. Come again sir. So that's how we complete the quest. And she still wants the disc, and we are going to trade it for the hatchet. Really? Thanks. Thanks again. I suppose I'll hang around here for a while. Alright. Well, now we have a hatchet. And it might actually be an important tool for us later on. For now, it's not as powerful as the sword is, so we're just going to have the sword, but... I'm sure the hatchet will be important at some point. So that was a that was a useful tip. And now we are ready to continue with the actual story. Now this is the charred forest. We're probably Oh. Oh, this is interesting. So yeah, I know who these are. So these are the sort of strange beings that were mentioned earlier on by the Matoran who wants to collect strange stones. And he said that there are some like creatures that can give them if you defeat them. And these are those creatures. So, well, obviously they look like Avmatoran. More specifically... Talk, Tanma and Solek. <laughs> but I guess that's part of the uh, humor of the situation here. But anyway, once we defeat them, we will receive some strange stones. And they sort of appear at random. So you can never be sure when you when you might encounter them. At this point they're quite well, they're quite strong because we're not that uh, leveled up yet, but later on in the game, they're super easy to beat. Okay, we're really slow, actually. Which means that those guys are super fast. I'm gonna go out of the automatic battle to use a elemental attack. Should take care of it faster. Okay, and probably one more. Yeah. And just like that, we get three strange stones. West Powahi. I don't think we were supposed to go to Powahi, though. We were supposed to go to... Kowahi. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, who is this? I'm practicing. Can you go this slow? Well, this guy is certainly not Kapura. Which is kind of strange. Yeah, that battle was nothing interesting. Just a Hikaki lizard. Okay, so there's nothing else here. Use hammer. Yes. Alright, so that's how we make it here. Into this creepy tunnel. We're still going against the same kind of enemies. Those were lightning bugs again, so... So, the enemies have not changed as of yet. Well, at least we encountered those those weird Avmatoran who gave us the strange stones. Let's see if this is where we're supposed to go. I really don't know. It's really bothersome to go through these dungeons when enemies are attacking. 
on all sides like that. Alright. At least we came to the right direction. And... Oh. Is this pillar important? Okay. Doesn't seem to be. At this point, we're basically one-shotting all the enemies. Because they're the same ones we encountered right at the beginning, so... They're not much of a challenge. Which, in a sense, make, which in a sense makes it even more frustrating that we have to stop to fight them all the time. Okay, now I don't see a way out of this one. Do we just have to do this? Um, am I doing something wrong? No, no, this is fine. Now... Which door did that do? Yeah, this is one of the reasons I do not... Well, the main reason I do not like random encounters in RPGs at all. They're just uh, really frustrating. I like it much more if the enemies are visible on the map. That's much nicer for the player. It's a better experience. I, yeah, what I said. Now, here's where we're supposed to go. To Kowahi. Alright, this doesn't look too... And still the same enemies. Well, that should lead to Kowahi. That's never good. That's a Muaka. A Muaka? But it couldn't have caused the qu that quake, could it? Rah. Okay, now since this is probably a boss battle, we should heal up a little bit. Oh wow, that did nothing. The po oh, okay, that was easy. Very easy. Yelp! Get out of my way or I'll be sure to finish you for good. Yelp! That sure scared him, but what's making the cave shake? Matev! You again. I saw the cave tremble. I ran in just in time to hear battle sounds. I think the cave could be coming down. Oh, you noticed? Come on, this way. Well, we won't be getting back to Takoro that way. <laughs> Looks like I'm stuck with you. As soon as we get to Kokoro, I'll drop you off at the inn and you can go you can go back to Takoro when the cable car is fixed. Fine. What's your name? Kehuri. Ah, alright Kehuri, let's get going. And Kehuri joined. So Matev is not very He's not that friendly of a guy. Ancient Tiles, Kokoro, Mount Iku, and Cable Car. Well, we are probably heading to Kokoro, so... They'll send us forward in some other places, I guess. And, uh... Oh, two Mwaka. Well, now we're gonna get to see Kahuti for the first time. Oh, he doesn't have a weapon. We should probably fix, fix that situation. But yeah, he's our first party member aside from our protagonist and he's gonna be important for the story understandably okay oh Del sword increases speed it's actually kind of nice oh was the hatchet better no it's not and we don't have anything else for him is this Kokoro it's too hot outside. It's too hot inside. Why has it been so warm lately? That's not copy key, but I don't know who it is. Oh, is this the... Oh, new enemies, finally. Now these guys are called Hapaka, I'm pretty sure. And they don't seem to be any tougher than the enemies we've battled so far. 
And although we get lots of potions, they don't really help at the healing at all, dude. Oh. If thou do doth seek to enter what lies ahead, thou must pass the test of thy knowledge. Uh, yeah, sure. What mask doth the Toa Fire wield? Well, that's easy. It's a how. What mask doth the Toa of Water wield? Okay, this is easy. Toa of Stone. Toa of Ice. Toa of Air. And Toa of Earth. Thy knowledge hath been proven. Go forth. Burn Oat River. Anything else that might have been carved here has faded. Okay, that's kind of strange. And we're probably entering... Are we in Kokorona? Kokoro. Okay. I don't really know... Where we are. Got art piece too. So we have art for the gallery. That's kind of nice. That was just another Hapaka. I think this is a way to slide down. So we're not going to do that yet now, but... We'll definitely check out this chest and it's 500 widgets. Right, well, probably we should go to... Oh, okay, so we have more of these guys. So I'm happy about that. Alright. And we are in Kokoro. Yeah, and of course they don't say anything because, well, this is Kokoro. That's a strange stone. Please, sir, I must have it. I'll trade you a hero point for it. Yes, and we will do that. We're gonna... We're gonna trade all the strange stones for hero points. Each time he's... telling us about his brothers in other Koro. They're all Tamatoran. But we still have, yeah, we still have a strange stone. Now, we, we probably... Ah, we still have one. Let's see if... Okay. Yeah, off-world Rahi. Even though they're definitely Abnatoran. <laughs> is there something here? There is something here. Hello, Tamatoran. Do you want to play Snow Tag? Um... Sure. Alright, let's go. Maybe I should have asked... Asked how the game works. Uh... Yeah, I definitely should have asked how the game works. Uh... What, what is happening here? Okay, we're just supposed to sort of... Uh, hit these things before they hit us. Okay. Oh, who's that guy? Oh, it's the... Oh yeah, we're supposed to like find him or something. Oh, there he is. Um, we're supposed to catch him, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there he is. But he's really fast. I don't know what the thing is with those boulders. It looks like a fun minigame, but it's a bit weird. Ah. And he's gone. I have no idea where he Probably not gonna beat this game. Oh, there he is. Ah, you caught me. Oh, oh, we get 250 widgets. So that's what we had to do. Well, we beat that game without having no idea what to do, so I guess that's cool. It's just a plain snowman. What? Hello, is anyone out there? Please, if you're decent, will you get me out of here? Uh, dig the Matron out? I'm free, good sir. I have not the words to express my many thanks to you. Nobody has bothered to dig me out for three days. Why those nasty evildoers? They conspire to bury elderly Matoran in the snow until they perish. 
if I was just a wee bit younger. Wait a minute, could you help me perhaps? Would you bring the villains who did this to me to justice? Ahem, um, sure. <laughs> Excellent. There are two of them, both called Matoran. I cannot imagine that they would be too far away. Okay, so we have another mini quest. And there's Kopaka Suba. Of course, Kopaka is dead. Um. You may wonder why the water here is not frozen. We Komatoran are not unlike you. We need water. So we purposely heat the river, uh, and you can notice how there is live grass on the edges of the water. Okay. Interesting. Mapmaker's hut. Oh, there's no one here. Be back soon, the map maker. That kind of looks like the island of Voyanui on there, actually. <laughs> it's probably not supposed to be Voyanui because it's, uh, well, it's definitely not supposed to be Voyanui because it's part of the standard graphics of the program. But it certainly looks like Voyanui, so it's fun to think of think of it as Voyanui. Ah, you scared me! All the Komatoran think I'm noisy. That is why I find myself cleaning the pathways. Ah, a bit of snow just fell on it. Out of the way. Okay. So he's an eccentric Komatoran. Okay, villagers hunts in shop. Who's this guy? The water is so peaceful, unlike our world. How deep? Okay. They sell and buy. We c there's a lot of things we could use. Cowrie shield. Armor made of leather. Um, rope that can be used as a whip. Is that a weapon? What about the ice sword? There's some good stuff here, actually. Um, also, the HP increase is really useful. Increases uh, longevity and attack increase. We're gonna sell something actually. We're gonna sell. Oh, sell 10 potions. Oh. Uh, and. Yeah, the dagger. We don't need the dagger. Okay, we might come back here again. Hey, do you like shiny things? Well, I happen to have a shiny trophy of Kopaka selling for more. for a mere 1000 widgets. It's actually kind of a waste of money, but since it is a art piece, I'm pretty sure I think we're gonna buy it. And got Kopaka throw trophy. You're a fine customer, sure, sir. Yeah, I know there's like more important things to use money on, but I really want to complete the gallery in this playthrough. Are you having trouble seeing us comet running in the snow? Good. Well, it's the basic comet horn, I guess. Ah, heal pass. Alright, so we actually, yeah, we really need healing. And just like that, we are healed up. We should probably go ahead and see Nuju soon, but before that, let's check out the huts over here. I can't chop any more wood! There's no one here, it's probably that chopper's home. Wood chop. Wood chopper. Note, must guard Suva. Okay. I don't know why they still guard the Suva since Kopaka is dead, but... Well, I guess it's a ceremonial thing. Lots of symbolical meaning and that sort of stuff. Alright, let's... Talk to the Turaga. Okay, he's doing his weird language. Turaga Nuju says, Greetings, Tamatoran. He continues, what business brings you to Kokoro? It's concerning the orbs. Orbs? Nuju wishes the other, the other Tamatoran to leave. All right. Nuju wonders why, where you learned of the orbs. Turagavakama told me, I need the orbs in order to defeat shadows. Nuju would like to know who you are. I am Matev, the son of the Toa. Have the messengers from Takoro are not, not arrived? Uh, no. Nuji thinks that Vakama has lost his mind. Matev died long ago. Turaga, I honestly don't have the time for this. 
if you could simply tell me where your orb is. Turaganuju says that you are crazy. He asks you to leave immediately. But, but Turaga... Ah, I'm sorry. Nuju refuses to continue the conversation. Yeah, he doesn't want to talk to us. A book concerning the principles of life. And nothing else of use, I guess. So, we have not managed to... What was that about? It isn't any of your concern. You should be off to the inn now. I have things to do. Hey, wait, I can help you. Unless you have the will to whack that Toraga over the head and knock some sense into him, then no, you can't. Help me. Please, at least until I mess up. Alright, but one slip up and you're going home. Right, right, thank you. I'm going to regret this. Of course, I don't know what we're supposed to do now, but we're probably, we should probably leave the village. And something will probably happen if we do that. Before we do that, let's just save real quick. Just to make sure we're not going to lose our progress. Because of any glitches or something. Now, perhaps we're supposed to go... No, not here, but... Here, because there was a path to the right, and there was some random guy over there hopping. Maybe that's where we're supposed to go. Let's see. Let's see what his problem is. Oh, who's this? You can always jump off the back of snow cliff as long as it isn't too high. Just press enter or space to jump off. Okay, but it doesn't it's not like this, it's just the the one we used before. Okay, where are you? I'm lost! Oh! Curse this cold region! What evil possessed Matanui to create this? Whoa, calm down! Huh? Mata? Yes, it's me. Now would you calm down? I'm lost! I can't make heads or tails of this wahi. You're the messenger, aren't you? I yes Matev. I know, Kehuri. We know the way to Kokoro. But really? There's a hut on this mountain that has a secret tunnel. It'll lead to another mountain, which takes you to Kokoro, understand? I, I think I can make it. Hurry up, will you? We're not saving the island sitting around like this. Sorry, I'll be off then. What now? I don't know, I suppose we'll just wait around for the messenger to convince Nuju of my task. What is your task anyways? Kill the Rakshi. That's not easy. Certainly not. Do you want to go home and cower under your bed? Of course not. I'd die before giving that Rakshi a fight. I'd die before giving that Rakshi a fight? I don't think that's what he means. <laughs> Good. So possibly we should just go to Kokoro now. I'm not really sure. Oh, oh, this is the path to Kokoro. Wait, was this guy here before? Wow, that's actually embarrassing if I just missed him like that. Well, probably we should just go back to Kokoro and see if Nuju is willing to listen to us now. I was quite lucky that I found that guy. Tamatoran. Hmm? Phew. Tamatoran. That was quite a jump. Mountain climber, I'm guessing. What is it? Uh, you two look like warriors. I am, yes. I need your help. I'm a map, ma map maker, you see. I was measuring Mount Ihu to make a proper map, and when I had reached the peak, I dropped my tablet containing information on the area of the mountain. So you do climb mountains, and why is it that you fail to retrieve it? There was a weird chirping Rahi up there. It had a slimy thing in its head. I didn't take it from the, take it for the friendly type, so I ran back here. Please, I need that tablet. A Borok? Is that what you saw? I don't know. Please, sir. Come on, Kahuti. It sounds like trouble. I agree. Oh, wait, where where are we supposed to go again? Mount Ihu. Okay, so there is a there is a sign. 
that directed us to that mountain, so... Mount Ihu is in the northeast. Yes, that's where I was going to go to. Oh, we get more. Off-world Rahi. Or in other words, up to And just like that, we have some more strange stones. And we're ready to go to Mount Ihu over here. Okay. There's probably some more, some more wild encounters here, I was gonna say. Yeah, there's no doubt that the battle system is so... Oh, wait, are these the... Hey, do you want to help? Do you want to help us build a snowman? Oh. Hmm. What? That's ridiculous. My brother and I aren't villains. That was our grandfather that we buried. Figures he'd forget us. We're sorry if we forgot to dig him back out. We were only having some fun. Would you please tell him that we're sorry? Uh, you need to learn your lesson, I think. Run for it, brother. Right behind you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how that affected the quest. But I figure we might as well. Okay, that looks totally looks like a secret passage. Anyway, like I was saying earlier, uh, this is the whole battle system is very frustrating. Just well well no, not the battle system, but the way we but the way we run into random encounters is yeah, that's very frustrating. Alright, we're gonna be on the top soon. Alright, and this is probably the peak. And it indeed looks like a ball rock. Kinda random that there would be a ball rock here. Just a lone ball rock. It is a ball rock, but where's the tablet? Choke. Alright. I don't know what the idea of having one random ball rock here is. I mean, they're supposed to only function in swarms. And according to this game's backstory, the ball rock were never released. The Toa defeated Makuta and then they were killed by the Rakshi. Alright, well, we're probably doing fine here. Kehuri is looking a bit rough around the edges, but other than that, it's not really posing a problem. The ball rock, it's not really doing much damage to us. I mean, it's probably not going to be that tough to take down. Of course, it would be a bit faster if we had the element, how elemental energy for Matev, but he only has two left. <laughs> I don't know if we actually have an item. Oh, well. Well, that wasn't too bad. Slash was learned. Wait! Whoa, what did you do? A Krana? You tend to learn a few things when you fight alongside a Toa. A Bulrock is only a suit of armor for the Krana. It's disgusting. Is it alive? All too much alive, though without the Bulrock case, it's harmless. What do we do with it? And where's the tablet? We take this. Okay, we got the Krana. We search for the tablet. I doubt the Bulrock just stood around here. I bet you that it scouted the mountain. What's wrong? Let's find the tablet. Oh. Okay, well, I can already see the tablet, so that's not too much of a problem. It's kind of random that we just have a Krana. Here it is. And we get the tablet. Alright, back to Kokoro. Right. Anyway, I think we're gonna continue this in the next episode. So, we're gonna go back to Kokoro and see if Nuju finally lets us look for the orb. But until then, see you guys later.